um, I would like uh, to thank you all for this amazing opportunity because it's rare that we can talk uh, about women with women and with men because I have some seen some of them and we need them. They're very important in this um, reflection. I want to reflect with you and, and weave my personal experience with the task we have ahead. When, when you will be in Tehran, and we know it's going to happen soon, you're going to be facing a tremendous challenge because you are probably the only real organization where women are at the top consistently with a women face as a leader, but also with women all over the hierarchy. And you will be confronted to the fact that uh, taking power in a country like Iran, which is a major country in the international scene, uh, we're talking about 80 million inhabitants, one of the big countries in the Middle East, not only by, by, his, by its history, but also by its geopolitical importance. It's not a small country. It's not a small challenge. It's not a small responsibility. So whatever you do once you're in power will reflect in the whole world. So the impact that you will have because you have a leader that is a woman in a country that has been for 40 years ruled by a misogynistic uh, regime, the impact will be like an atomic bomb in the whole world. So whatever is done in those first months of your coming in in the international scene will define most of the next generation of women will be able to do in, in the world. So, so we're talking about very serious responsibility. You are an exception. This organization is an exception. I mean, I have never seen uh, an organization that combines uh, military discipline with uh, a living philosophy, with a political aim to go and take power and put an end to a dictatorship that one of the characteristic of this uh, dictatorship, other than cruelty, torture, uh, it's, a, it's a misogynistic regime. So my belief is, and, and Miriam knows that, that through her, you have achieved something that is very unusual. If I look uh, at what women in politics do today, and some of you will understand what I'm saying, is that in order to get to power, in order to, to climb the ladder uh, to be a, a political leader, we women tend to become like men. So, so we have to reflect also inside of us as women in, in, in how we can empower the force of change in ourselves. And I'm humbled by what you have achieved. And I'm in admiration. And I'm in gratitude for all the things I have learned so far by being just with you in this last years. Thank you so much.